Hello everyone, welcome to the course introduction to DBT. My name is Imran and I am consultant focusing on data engineering and have experience working with large databases, DBT, Airflow and so forth. So together we'll be covering the fundamentals of DBT. So we're gonna start with what actually the DBT is, then we'll explore about the DBT models, uh, then the testing and the documentation. And finally, we'll look into the implementation of DBT in the production. So this will be our part one series. So we have got a lot to cover, so let's get started. So what is DBT? So DBT stands for Data Build Tool. So DBT is designed to simplify the management of data warehouse and transform the data within. So we have a ETL process, right? So extraction, transformation, and loading. So what is the meaning of ETL? So uh, extraction means extracting the data from various data sources. Then we're going to do the transformation and load the data into our databases or data warehouses. And from there, we can uh, get that data for the BI tools or MN models or operational analytics. So where the DBT stands? So DBT stands at the steep process, okay? So that is at the transformation step. So DBT allows for easy transition between the data warehouse types, or it could be Snowflake, BigQuery, uh, Postgres, or any other data warehouse. So DBT is ideal for teams, including those with analysts and engineers. So DBT also provides the ability to define SQL and transformations in source control environments. So this is a short introduction to what actually the DBT is. So in short, so DBT is a data build tool. Uh, it primarily handles the T in the ETL process. It allows the easy switching between the data warehouses and it's ideal for the teams with different needs and it provides a source control. Okay, so what does DBT do? Okay, so it primarily defines the data models and the transformations using SQL, right? So we'll be writing the SQL queries to model the data which is stored in the data warehouses. So in the newer versions of the DBT, even we can use Python, uh, but we'll not be covering that in this particular part of the course, okay? So yes, later on, we'll be covering uh, those things. So even it translates the SQL dialects, right? And even can define the relationship between the data models, uh, it runs the data transformation process as requested. Uh, so even we can uh, schedule using the Airflow also, right? And you can perform the test for the data quality requirements. Okay, so now uh, let's check like uh, what does DBT look like, right? Uh, so when I say DBT, what actually it is and how we can interact with DBT. So DBT is primarily available as a command line tool, right? Uh, so, and it's available on Mac, Windows, and Linux. And it's an open source tool and is also known as DBT Core, okay? And another components are adapters. Can you see here plugins, right? So we have many plugins and different adapters that actually defines how to connect your different data warehouses. So there are many adapters, uh, some managed as a part of the project and others are managed by third party volunteers or companies. And uh, this include DBT Snowflake, uh, DBT BigQuery, SQL Server, and we have many such adapters uh, or plugins, right? Uh, there's also a managed version of DBT known as DBT Cloud. Uh, so uh, even we'll be covering that uh, later in our course. So as we have discussed what DBT is, so we should also mention who it's designed for. So typically DBT is used by anyone that needs to transform the raw data in our data warehouses. So uh, this can include data engineers, uh, analyst engineers, right? Uh, and the data analyst as well. So it is really used by the data scientists and ML engineers or data consumers in other areas like finance, uh, uh, think of sales reports, finance or C-level management, okay? So generally DBT is used by uh, people who want to transform the data in the data warehouses. Fine, so now let's do the uh, DBT core setup in our local machine, right? Uh, so to, before getting started, uh, we need to have few tools set up, okay? Uh, so first, let's set up our data warehouse. So throughout this course, we'll be using a Snowflake, right? And uh, later on, we'll add other connectors like Redshift, okay, if you want to connect with SQL Server or MySQL, okay, we'll be doing that uh, later in our course. Okay, so but to get started, we'll start with Snowflake, okay? Uh, so uh, first we need to uh, create an account in the Snowflake and uh, 
uh, let's do that now okay so to create a snowflake account okay just go to the snowflake right uh, snowflake comes with uh, 30 days of uh, free trial period right so let me search for snowflake you can just click onto this link the snowflake data cloud right and from here you can just click on start free and so once you click on start free so you need to enter the basic details like first name last name company email okay so company name role as well as the country and click on continue so once you fill this uh, form right so we'll be getting a uh, a mail from this snowflake okay uh, for the verification just verify that uh, so even i just got a mail can you see this right so so just uh, uh verify that and uh, once you verify you will get uh, one more link to uh, enter your username as well as password just enter your username and the password and once you enter the username and the password this is what the welcome message will get from the snowflake and this is my the username and this is my dedicated url so let me log into the snowflake okay and once you click on to log into the snowflake so this is my username and the password okay so now i'll click on to the sign in and yes so this is my uh, snowflake account and my setup is ready right and if i want to create a new worksheets so just click on to the plus sql worksheet and yes so this is where i'll be writing all my queries and i can just interact with my databases uh, schemas and stuff right okay so this is all about the snowflake setup so next thing uh, which is required is uh, environments, right? So I, uh, because whenever you're working with the DBT, it's good practice to have a different environments for your production as well as um, uh, a development and uh, setting up an environment is very important, right? Uh, so to create an environment, we'll be using an Anaconda, right? So we, we, we make use of Anaconda prompt to create an environment in our local machines. So we'll not do any setup in a base machine okay that is in base environment we'll do that in our different environments okay to create those environments we need anaconda navigator right so to download anaconda navigator just search for anaconda uh, navigator download right so just click on this anaconda navigator download just click on free downloads and from here you can just download the anaconda navigator right so this is a very simple uh, process just download it and uh, if you have installed any software right uh, it, it's similar to that just click on next 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 it will install uh, the anaconda navigate in your machine okay so once that is installed you can just verify that you just go to search and just search for uh, anaconda prompt right and just click on this anaconda prompt over here and this is how the uh, uh, cli looks right and you can see here right now we are in base environment right so we have a command to check the different environments in our machine so the command is conda env list sorry i made the mistake it's list it's conda env list yeah so you can see you have many environments here okay and uh, even you can see this star which is highlighted right now i'm in the base environment so even you can just verify that from here right so right now i'm in the base environment so let me go up okay this is the list of environments in my machine right so what we'll be doing is let's create a new environment and let's install the dbt code in that particular environment okay so let's get started so this is what is uh, uh, the, uh, the tools installations uh, which is required one is the snowflake okay um, so if you have any other data warehouse okay if you want to connect it okay or you can just try that fine and uh, to create an environment this is how uh, this is what i have choose to create an environment okay so if you have any other method yes you can just uh, continue with that fine so my uh, all tools are set up i have snowflake account and uh, my anaconda navigator is ready so now the next step is to create an environment okay and so once we create an environment let's install the dbt code in that particular environment okay so now let's create a new environment uh, the command to create a new environment is conda create conda create hyphen n and you need to give you the environment name okay i'll just give uh, it's dbt jan okay and uh the python version which i'll be using is 3.10 okay so let me hit enter so once you hit enter uh so the new environment is creating uh, with the name called dbt jan okay so let me make this bigger yeah and next time to give a permissions so let me give what is i want to create this environment Yeah. 
So my environment got created and we know the command to check the list of environments that is conda env list. Yeah. So can you see here dbt jan, right? So the environment has been created uh, in this particular path. So now I need to activate this environment, right? So you can see the star mark, which is telling that right now I'm in the base environment, right? So I want to get into this dbt jan environment. The command for that is conda activate and your environment name. So my environment name is dbt jan. So let me hit enter. So I've just activated uh, my environments. Right now you can see right now I'm in the base uh, dbt jan. Even you can see the star mark, right? If I do env conda env list and you can see the uh, the star uh, near the dbt jan, okay? So even you can just verify that from here, okay? So right now I'm in this dbt jan environment. Fine, so I have created my environment uh, with the Python version 3.10. So now the next step is to install the dbt core, all right? So the command, so we have a different versions of dbt core, okay? So we'll install the latest one, okay? Just using the pip command. So let's install a uh, pip install uh, dbt uh, hyphen core. So I'm not giving any specific version, but if you have any specific version, just give equals and give the version, okay? But I'll go with the latest version. So I'll not mention any version. So by default, it will install the latest version. Okay, uh, let me hit enter. So right now it's installing all the necessary uh, packages, uh, which is required for me to execute the dbt commands and to work with the dbt core, right? So, uh, yes, so I think the installation is done. Yeah, so installation is done. Uh, so uh, if I just want to check whether the dbt is installed, you can just type dbt here. Let's hit enter. And even you can just check uh, some of the commands or help from the dbt okay uh, this is a quick way just to uh, mm -hmm. check like whether dbt is installed in my system or not okay you can see certain commands like build clean clone okay so even you can see uh, 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 the description about this com uh, comments here right commands here okay uh, so now let's check the version of the dbt okay to check the d uh, ver uh, dbt version so we have a command dbt hyphen hyphen uh, version let me hit enter yeah so you can see uh, the core version has been installed. Uh, installed version is 1.7.5 and the latest version is also 1.7.5, okay? And if you go to the plugins and the adapters, uh, so which I've already told you, right? So plugins and adapters help me to connect to my data warehouses. Uh, so right now I don't have any plugins, but we know that we'll be co connecting to the Snowflake, right? So I need a Snowflake connector, okay? Uh, to install the Snowflake con connector, so it's pip install uh, dbt, snowflake hyphen snowflake and let me hit enter yes so now if i check once again that is dbt version yes so can you see the plugin has been installed that is uh, the version is 1.7.1 okay so yes so we all done so we have installed the dbt core in my uh, environment and if, even we know the versions uh, in which we are working with right that is the dbt core version as well as the plugin version so now next step is to set up the new project right so let's try to do that uh, now Fine, so to start a new project, I have uh, created a folder called dbt jan, okay? So I'll be uh, adding all my dbt project in this particular, I mean like folds and filers in this particular folder, okay? That is dbt jan. So I've already created this, okay? Uh, so so let me get into that particular drive first, okay? Uh, that is the colon, and let me go do the cd into this particular path, right? So let me do control C and let me paste it over here, okay? CD into this particular path, okay? So if I do DIR, right now I don't have any files and folders. Fine, so now let's um, start with the new project. The command to start with the new project in the dbt is dbt init, right? So dbt init will initialize the new project, okay? So let's hit enter. So dbt init, 
so the first it will ask me to enter the project name so let me enter the project name so i'll enter the project name as dbt jan project pro let me hit enter uh, so enter the number so it's asking me which database would you like to use right now i have only one connector that is snowflake but if i have multiple connectors you need to select the appropriate number okay so right now the snowflake is at number one position let me enter one and hit enter so next i need to enter the uh, account uh, value here right this is value I, it's, it's asking for so now let me go here and so if i click on to this login to the snowflake uh, so this is the value it's asking for so let me copy this uh, control c and let me go over here and control v fine make sure you don't have any spaces okay enter uh, username i'll just do account admin okay so username okay so it's asking for me a uh, snowflake username okay so this is the username right so let me copy this Control c uh let me add it over here enter so i need to authenticate using password uh, let me enter the password i hope i remember the password hit enter yes next they're asking me the role so in this snowflake we have account admin role let me enter that account admin so you went the account admin hit enter so warehouse so uh, i'll just go with compute wh this is the default warehouse provided by the snowflake uh, database so we have different database here right so let me select any one of the database like i'll select with demo db right so it's demo underscore db let me type that that is demo underscore db okay and the schema uh, so let me check the schema so this how um, uh, we need to just check okay i have dbt raw let me enter that so dbt raw so even we can just change this value later on i'll show that okay so let me hit enter and stretch i'll go four and hit enter yes so uh, so my project setup is done so now if i go to my uh, folder okay can you see the magic right so i have the logs folder okay uh, and even have a project name right so that is dbt jan project so this is the name of my project okay let me enter into this particular folder and you can see my dbt project itself right uh, so i have the analysis folder macros folder uh, models seeds snapshots tests right so even i can just uh, uh, see this in my vs code so let me see that in vs code so i'll just type here code dot so that i can just open the vs code directly from the command line and yes so i'll just expand this right so let me go here can you see so we have models and inside the models we have first dbt model as well as second dbt model fine so now the next step is because we have given all the credentials right so i even i want to check whether my connection is successful or not okay so to check the connection so first if i do dir right now i have the logs folder as well as project folder so i want to get into the project folder first okay that is dbt jan pro and we have a command to check the connection and the command to check the connection is dbt debug let me hit enter so dbt debug hit enter yes so can you see uh, so the connection was successful all checks passed so we have successfully connected to my snowflake and my uh, project setup is done and everything is set up okay so now in the upcoming uh, video we'll understand the various components of the dbt like what is uh, macros about the macro sources about the models right uh, test documentations okay so we'll be learning that in our upcoming video